Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Foreign Investor Australia. My name is Charleston. I'm permanent resident here in Australia. I moved overseas to this beautiful country. Lots of opportunities here. And probably like you, I'm trying to figure out how to invest my money here in Australia. What are the possibilities? What can I do? Some tips and advice on that. So if you are like me, perhaps you just move as a permanent resident, temporary resident, or even a student here in Australia, or perhaps you are one of our fellow Australian friends just looking for investment opportunities, you are in the right channel. If you have a peculiar accent like myself, if people ask you when you talk anytime, where are you from? You are in the right place, my friend. Today, we're going to talk about super fund. What are the possibilities to invest my super fund money? Perhaps even buy stock market shares. Oh, can I do that, Charles? Can I buy stock market shares using my super fund account? Yes, you can. Probably, probably some of you have heard about the self-management super fund which is uh, you basically manage your own account. You, you have an overhead, operational overhead to manage that. Today, I'm not talking about the self-management super fund. I'm talking about your current super fund account, the simple super fund account from the Como, perhaps the uh, industry super funds. Those are the types of super funds I'll be talking about today. So you can start right now, invest your super fund money buy stock market shares i'm going to show you how you can do that all right okay so without further ado let's get started so the first thing we need to know guys is when you talk about the stock market investment or buying shares in the stock market there are two types of investment we can do the first thing is trading Many people do trading or day trade, they buy and sell shares in a short term. So this is the type of investment where you try to speculate from shares. So of course you want to buy a share uh, in a lower price and then sell the share with a higher price and then profit on that. So that's not the type of investment we are talking here, although you can do that. but. I don't recommend to use your super fund money to do trading shares in, in the share market, right? So this is the first type of investment. And there are other channels, other channels talking about that. You need to understand a little bit of technical analysis, some graph and chart, ch chart analysis. That's not the place we are going. In this channel, we focus on the second type of stock market investment, which is value investing in the value investing you basically buy shares and you need to hold those shares for as long as possible this is the type of investment Warren Buffett Warren Buffett a uh, big investor from United States of America uh, and he tells that if you buy the right shares ideally you should never never sell that share you should just keep that share forever right because that's that means you, you you got a good company so that's the sort of investment we are talking here value investing where we do buy and hold so long-term investing in this type of analysis we are not doing the technical analysis like where you analyze the candlestick shares and that sort of thing we basically analyze the statements like the financial statements from companies we need to check uh, from the accounting point of view, how healthy that company is, right? And I'm going to show you in other videos in this channel how you can do that in detail, how you get a company and you analyze the statements and then you can get a clear view if that company is healthy or not according to your point of view because that's important. You need to understand what you are looking in companies. But basically, we are going to check things like uh, the revenue how good is the revenue for that company net profit is that company profitable or not uh, debt uh, does that company has a, a huge debt or is a comfortable debt 
Uh, we are going to talk about margin, operational margin, how profitable that company is according to the sector, and also the cash flow analysis. So stay tuned for other videos where we are going to talk in details how to analyze those sort of uh, indicators in a company and how to select good companies for your portfolio, okay? Now let's talk about super fund. So super fund as per 2021 government definition, Australia government definition means 10% of your salary, your employer has to pay towards your super fund account. So you have no choice. If you, your salary is a, a, a thousand bucks, a hundred bucks goes to your super fund account. That's the deal. And that's a good deal, by the way, because it's uh, easy for you to save money. It's a mandatory saving. So you just need to figure out how better invest that money and make that money grow, right? And of course, we have some super fund uh, companies in the market. Today, I'm going to talk to you about two super fund companies, which I personally tried. I have no connection at all. But if those companies want to sponsor the channel, good for you. Go ahead, contact me. It would be good if you want to sponsor the channel. But I'm going to talk about these two companies because I personally had accounts on that. I tried that so I can share my experience using those two companies. This first company is uh, Australian Super. So I do have an account with Australian Super. So I can tell you in details how to invest your uh, money on that super fund account buying shares and another company is Cbus. So if you are currently using one of those two companies for your super fund, that's very easy. All you need to know is follow the instructions and you can start buying shares right away. If you are using a different company and if you want to migrate for one of those, you can do that very easily as well. So I do recommend these two because I personally tried both of them. Okay, so in Australian Super, they have a product called Member Direct. So if you have an Australian Super account, you can just contact them and say, look, I want to move to Member Direct account or I need to enable this feature. And this is going to enable you to buy and sell shares in the stock market. And if you have a CBUS account, you can just contact the CBUS uh, um, customer center and you can tell them you need to enable the self-management, self-managed uh, CBUS account that's going to enable you to buy and sell shares in your um, online portal through the CBUS uh, web portal. One thing that is important is once you got those accounts, uh, you're going to have the, uh, the right to buy and sell shares. But there is one important detail. The shares available, the stocks available for you to buy and sell, are only the ones listing the ASX 300, which are the most uh, market value, the top 300 companies in the market. But you are in a good place here, guys, because here in the 300, you have all big four banks, you have the telecom companies, uh, you have, you know, the supermarkets, Kohl's, Woolies, um, you have many companies like uh, in the, the uh, customer service space. So 300 companies for you to buy and share. I can tell you guys, there are really good companies in that list. So uh, don't think that just because you can buy only the ASX 300, you're short in options. You have many, many options here and you are going to align specific companies in other videos, right? Uh, the other important thing is you can invest up to 8% of your total super fund uh, balance in the stock market. So for example, if you have a super fund account currently with uh, 100K, you can invest 8K, 80K in the uh, stock market. The other 20, you need to invest in a, probably in a, in a fund, another different type of uh, more stable fund inside the same company. That's the maximum you can invest on that. So it depend, depends on your profile, depends on your goal, you can invest more or less. Um, I like to invest a lot in the stock market because I know how to analyze the companies. And if you are a beginner, I would say just split perhaps 50% in the stock market, the other 50% just in a uh, interest rate 
inter interested rate uh, um, option inside the super fund. But if you are more advanced, you can easily go for the 8% uh, up to 8% in the stock market. The other thing is what are the costs? When you enable the member direct and the self-management account, there is uh, an extra fee you need to, to pay, right? So in the Australian Super Member Direct, as we are recording this video, and I'm going to share the links for the portal for each of those companies, so you can always keep up to date in terms of price. But as, you, as we are recording this video, basically the annual fee for Australian Super is 395 bucks per year uh, to have a member direct account and CBUS, CBUS self-management is uh, 240 per annum in terms of uh, uh, annual fee for having this, this account. The other uh, fee to have in mind is every time you buy a company or you buy a set of shares or you sell, if you need to sell, ideally you, you won't sell um, any, any, anywhere but um, if you need to sell, there is a fee for each time you sell or buy shares. So if you're buying a company from zero to 500K in Australian Super, they charge you 15 bucks, one five. If you, if you are buying more than 10,000 in shares for a specific company, they charge you 20 and more than 30, 30 grand, it's 45. Uh, bucks per transaction, right? So this is as we are recording this video, those values may change over time, but just to, to give an idea about the fees you're going to be charged. So it's very fair fees. If you go outside the uh, super fund accounts, normal banks are going to charge you similar fees and they have similar annual fees as well for you to keep your portfolio using their services, right? In the CBUS, pretty similar uh, fees for buying or brokerage fees up to 10,000 in shares it's 1950 cents uh, per transaction more than 25k is 29.50 per transaction so those are the transactions fees ideally ideally you won't be selling and buying uh, many times you're just selecting when you are building your portfolio perhaps you're going to have some extra fees to buy those those shares but over time you just keep them right so those are the fees those are two options so go right now if you are already with one of those guys all you need to do is just click and ask to enable this account you're going to have a charge and or charge and then you can start buying shares right the way right okay so Another thing very interesting, so I have now the companies in my portfolio. So ideally, I bought a portfolio. I have like 10, 12, 20 companies. And we are going to talk about how to select those com companies in, in other videos. Um, so stay tuned for other videos. How do I select my, my, the best companies for my, my, my profile according to my desire, according to my goals. But just keep in mind for now just enable that and you have the options to buy those those shares when you buy a share of course if you buy the right company over time the price is going to go up because there is a, a rule there is a fact if if the company is having revenue and net profit going high the price is going to be high uh, over time over a year over two years so that's a good thing so you buy something which is increasing in value that's why we call value investment. The second thing which is very interesting is the dividends payback. So the dividends is basically a company, if they have a, profit, a profitable uh, year, they can give some money back to shareholders. And Australian companies do that twice a year. So we need to keep an eye on the financial statements and twice a year the company is going to announce how much they're going to give you per share. So some companies are, for example, $1 back per share. So if I have 10 shares, I'm going to get $10 twice a year. That's very interesting. And in the super fund accounts, there is another tax, uh, dividend tax, interesting thing here, which happens. So follow with me in this replay here. So 
companies in Australia, they, they have a, what we call a franking credit. So basically when the company pay, pays back the dividends, um, there is a possibility they pay back to the shareholder uh, with discounted tax, which they call fully franked. So the dividends is taxed by Australia government in 30%. So if a company is paying a dollar to, uh, to the shareholder, basically 30 cents go to the government. So in the end of the day, I'm going to receive the 7 cents for that dividend for each share I hold. In that case, when the company pays the 30% to the government, and just pay for you the 70% means uh, that company is doing a fully franked uh, dividend payment. However, when the money, when the dividend goes to your super fund account, the dividends are charged at 15%, which means if the company is a company, you hold a company and a company is fully franked dividend payer, so if you receive one dollar, you should receive seven cents. However, the thirty percent is too much. So the percentage the company has paid is too much for super fund. So you also receive the fifty percent back in your super fund account. So there is a plus in the case of the the company is paying a dollar. So follow with me this calculation. Let's say if you hold a company X. And this company says, I'm going to pay $1 per share. And it's fully franked. Which means the company is going to pay 30% to the government. So the shareholder should receive $0.07 cents per share. Right? So if I hold one share, one next share in my super fund account, I'm going to receive this 7%. And then for the other 30 cents, I'm going to receive half of that because in the super fund account, I'm charged only 50% tax in accumulation phase for any franking credit. So I'm going to receive the 50 cents on top of that 7 cents. So in the end of the day, in the super fund account, if I hold one share for this X company, I'm going to receive 85 cents. And this is, if I'm on accumulation phase, if you are on retirement phase, the tax is zero, which means I'm going to receive the 70 bucks, the 70 cents plus the 30 cents in my account. So that's very interesting receiving dividends in your super fund account compared to the outside world, right? So that's information I have for you guys. So if you're looking in for uh, possibilities to invest your super fund money, that's one possibility for you. So I highly encourage you to, you know, open one account in one of those super fund accounts, or if you already have that, just enable the member director self-management and let me know if you have done that. If you have any questions, just type below. I'm going to leave the links below for those two companies here so you can have a look. Enjoy. I hope you like that. So subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up here. If you like that, if you want more content like that, just let me know. Have a great day. May the peace be with you. Namaste.